I believe that Hezbollah was very um, limited in their response, that this is not uh, an attack that shows the full capability of Hezbollah, um, that Hezbollah retains significant uh, military capability that uh, remains unknown to both Israel and the United States. Um, and this is actually bad news for Israel and the United States because what Hezbollah did reveal appears to be just a an aspect of operational planning that allows Hezbollah to overwhelm the Israeli and American defenses to achieve very limited results. This was not a massive attack by Hezbollah. This was a very targeted, limited attack by Hezbollah. And yet it appears that Hezbollah did achieve its results, that Israel has no defense uh, for this. And um, this is bad news for Israel and the United States because both were fully mobilized, as you've said, to they were prepared for a Hezbollah strike. And yet the least sophisticated of the options available to Hezbollah were able to overcome uh, this defense, albeit in a very limited fashion. Still, Hezbollah was able to penetrate the defense and hit the targets. And I think this is a signal being sent by Hezbollah to Israel and the United States that if this escalates further, Hezbollah has the ability to penetrate every aspect of the Israeli-American uh, missile defense shield, that there is no defense for uh, against Hezbollah's weapons.